Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here on this channel, I share with y'all delightful, family-friendly, and faith-based movies and television shows. Okay, y'all, we are back with a whoopee chat. Okay, y'all remember when I did that poll? Yeah, I did that poll yesterday. Okay, you know, I actually recording the deal. I did the poll, but yeah, we did the poll yesterday. I asked y'all, did y'all enjoy the movie chat? Because I was sure. Okay, I know how reviews go: short, sweet, simple. At least I try to keep them that way movie chats i still be trying to keep them sweet but sometimes i get too excited and yeah we be having about 19 20 minutes or whatever but it's still under half an hour i mean y'all can't spare me that give me that amount of time anyways yeah so i was expecting to be honest y'all i was expecting like y'all to be like okay do y'all watch do y'all enjoy the movie chats on the channel i was expecting either no or i have not i spent more i have not watched them that's what i expected because i don't know just looking at the numbers or whatever whatever and so i was surprised i checked that thing i i saw so far it was one one vote that said yes i enjoyed the movie chat so we do it for the one on here okay we do it for the one the one all right <laughs> so anyways yes y'all remember the review that we did on civil love okay if y'all have not watched that shame on you okay why you ain't watched that yet and I gave y'all enough time to watch it, did not I? Okay. You may not have watched the movie, but you should have watched the review, all right? So, y'all remember Civil Law, okay? That was Rachel's story, like, set back in some kind of time. I don't know. It was back in the day, because y'all, you get the hint Civil, all right? <laughs> and the way they dress and everything, which I do typically love those kind of films. But, yes, it did ask that question. The question I have for y'all. Y'all know, please leave it in the comments what y'all thoughts are, Okay. Of course, I'm going to answer it here on the video, but y'all free to say what y'all got to say. I'm down. I'm here for it, all right? <laughs> Did Rachel love her enemy? Of course, we are going to get to that, you know, after I have to explain myself because I just have to explain myself, okay? I, 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 I ain't going to be telling y'all something without telling y'all why, okay? Why I think what I think, okay? Anyways, yes, yeah, so we are introduced here to the sweet, lovely Rachel, right off the bat y'all know that already we are on her team we in her corner okay you lost your spouse a year ago you got these churn that you got to be raising <laughs> raising i feel in the middle of nowhere it is freezing cold it look cold it look cold all right and we see what's going down with it all right and so at the beginning i, I did i did have it <laughs> i don't even know what to say about this all right with Jonathan. Jonathan is like yeah, her brother-in-law, right? Before we even get into Daniel. Daniel was like person we really gonna be comparing this to, like he if he was the enemy or not, or did she love him or not? Okay, we're gonna get to that. But I have to put this out because I felt so bad for Jonathan, y'all. All right. Jonathan, that was his brother. She lost her husband. She he she lost her husband. He lost his brother. All right. So he Jonathan is a brother-in-law. So we get the pain of hurt here, all right. But it makes you question because Rachel did ask in this film, like, did you even really mourn? Did you even grieve the loss of your brother? Or you were just happy he was out of the way, okay? Oh, I love the boldness of Rachel Hill because so many of us, like, right, in real life, we be, oh, we be hot and stuff, playing because it be seeming like, okay, it's not really, is that even appropriate to ask? I mean, do we, do we even lay it out? I mean, you can be tactful, okay? You can be respectful, you ain't got to be downright rude, all right? But it's like, how many people really, you see what you get? I mean, they real, they real. I love that. I love them kind of people, okay? I don't even care if you even come off as close to rude or disrespectful when I know that you being real, okay? Yes, I, I love that because you know what you're getting. You see what you're getting. You know what you're getting. And we ain't got to be worried about all that ducking high and trying to fi figure out somebody. I ain't got time to be trying to figure out somebody. And so I love this in this film. Rachel ain't got time to be figuring out nobody. But Jonathan made it easy, though, because he came to her pretty much at the beginning of this film. was like, okay, he wants to take care of her. Like, they shouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere. She, He know that this house means a lot to her because that was the house that her, his brother left behind for them. They're comfortable here. They probably feel closer, this connection to, you know, her husband. But he's like, okay, we got to be realistic. You are a young, beautiful woman 
single mom here i mean that almost sends forth like this target okay he know he he's a sheriff he know all these crazy people out there and he just don't want nothing to happen to her i mean he already lost his brother he don't want to lose her and his niece and nephew okay yes that was seen like the surface of things like he would not want that to happen but we see you don't admit it no okay that he loves her like seriously he really do love her and he wants to marry her he wants to take care of her he he just it just means a great deal to him and rachel is obviously not sure not only does she she's not really fully over her husband she's still kind of grieving a loss there but she's not ready to move on out of their home or anything like that and at the same time she loves Jonathan like a family member. She's not in love with him. And she feels like it's wrong like to deny him that. She knows what it's like to fall in love, to be in love. That is so very much special. Even though it was taken away from her, she still knows that everybody should have that. If you can have it, don't deny yourself this. If she feel like marrying him, she would be denying him that because they're going to be married. I mean, who knows if he could ever meet somebody that will feel exactly the same way he feels. And she knows she's not going into that. And he's like, it's all right. You know, like he is aware of that. He's just like, okay, you can grow. You can learn to love me. Ah, what you mean? I mean, I know how they did. That's how they do back in the day, all right? These arranged marriages. They just put folks together based on whatever background, status, family, all this kind of stuff. What a, whatever the reason is. What in the world make you think it's guaranteed that somebody is going to grow or learn to love someone? I mean, you can, I mean, love someone. Okay, okay, I get it. All right. You can love somebody. But fall in love, well, be in love with somebody? How can you grow to fall in love with somebody you can grow to love someone because that's a choice you're making that choice all right for whatever reason i mean we can do this but to be in love to grow to be in love like like she said when you wake up in the morning you just want to experience that day you experience that moment that that's what brings that joy experiencing all of that that life has to offer with this person like you look forward to that you can't learn to do that with somebody i feel that way I, I guess that's another question i know this ain't the topic of the, the, the discussion but y'all can let me know in the comments how y'all feel about that i feel yes i feel like you can learn you can grow to love someone okay because we know it's it's a choice but to fall in love like oh like to everything your heart your soul all this to i don't i don't see it so i got rachel here like she wasn't even about to put herself in that situation of being being miserable you really would be miserable because it would be you forcing yourself to be with this person i mean you won't be experiencing life you won't be experiencing love you will just be there and who wants to be there i mean my goodness if some of y'all out there in that situation god bless you he can change it okay I, my prayers go out to you all right but to be uh, no honey on this end we need to we need to be in love okay we need to be in love god need to prove of that we need to be in love all right so i do get rachel here but i feel so bad for jonathan because he was so honest he was so open and you can imagine you putting yourself out there for rejection like seriously and he knew what the deal was especially when daniel came into the picture and daniel came into rachel's life as the enemy he was a confederate soldier and rachel her husband was killed by the confederates all right and for all she knew it could have been his gun that took him out i mean so all of this stuff is going on inside of her just when she's finally starting to just come to terms with this loss moving past it her and the children they're they're getting they going in you know they getting accustomed to things getting accustomed to routines and having habits that they don't develop now all of a sudden this man ends up in your born this wounded man and you see that he's a confederate soldier and you just like what what more god what more are you gonna throw on me here okay i already lost my man all right he was a good man and we was in love and all this kind of stuff the father of my kids and then this 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 is in my born what am i supposed to do with this what am i supposed to do with this I totally got her okay I, I i just see like and this actress did an amazing amazing job like seriously you can say so much without even 
really saying anything okay and her emotions and everything express that like it express like that turmoil and going on inside of you like what should you do should you go by what, what you feel and, and get in a sense get justice this is your own state of justice let this man die it ain't like you put the bullet there okay go ahead and let him just go on all right that's what happened to your man all right so i understand what rachel could be feeling but at the same time you know your heavenly father would not approve of that you know the right thing to do and even her children like she raised her children right because they were even more like comforting towards daniel they were more trusting towards him at the beginning they were like they just trying to be nice mom we're just trying to be nice and i understand i was like so proud of the kids here because that was their daddy all right that was their pappy so he they could have been just as bitter and everything as the mom here but they obviously wasn't they even the ones that had more of a connection in the beginning with daniel than rachel did have and so you just see like it's back and forth in rachel mind like every time she would st take a little baby step forward it was almost like she was had to take a ton of steps backwards because she just it's like your mind telling you one thing but your heart telling you something else and it's like which one are you gonna believe because we know that people say it's been said all the time that women are kind of like moved by their hearts like we just throw all reason out the door when it comes to a man that's what people say and i ain't saying it's true but that's what that's what the streets the social media streets are saying okay but and so rachel obviously knowing this inside of her and she's just like okay i, I just want to be wise here i just want to move by what my mind is saying and put this heart on lock okay and so i just love that that daniel just showed little by little that he was not what she thought he was yes he in her mind he was labeled as the enemy pretty much throughout this entire film but you saw like characteristics in him that he wasn't like the confederate soldiers he wasn't even like her brother-in-law her brother-in-law was not even an enemy but daniel wasn't even like that like you could tell inside of him like he was not a killer like he was someone that had a heart like he he had a heart for people and he certainly was starting to we start to see y'all as the film progressed a heart for her he saw that pain and he saw that struggle inside of her and he was trying to make it as easy as possible by watching his steps being careful being hesitant being slow with her like he was very very much so slow to speak he was he was of a quiet soul like when he dealt with her you could tell that he was very very gentle with her as well as with the children because he knew what state he was in he was in a he was a wanted man and this was his refuge for whatever reason he ended up here god brought him here to this wonderful family and he saw how special they were because he didn't have a family he never knew what it was like and he started to see little by little what it was like to be a part of something to have someone out there who actually cares about you that's what made him even enlist in you know war and all of that to begin with because he had nothing to lose he had nothing to come home to he felt like he even mentioned that to rachel in in this film like nobody would care like so what it was like what was the point nobody would care nobody would miss him if he was here today go on tomorrow and rachel even let him know in this moment you know this when everything was established in a sense in her heart you know what i'm saying it was stolen without her permission okay it was captured all right and she even said that we would care i was like ah, girl, you know you know how to girl you know how to do it all right being gentle and sweet and stuff okay you know how you know how to do it but you trying to act like you forgot okay just because your husband is gone and all that kind of stuff he ain't here no more you still know what's up all right <laughs> sweet and so beautiful like how this story like played out it played out in such a way such a pure way y'all because in this ratchet world we living in it's like you don't it's like people don't even know like the new generation coming up they don't even really know like how what is love how does it look how is it supposed to feel it, it's like none of that exists no more it's like just the gross stuff like that's all like that that's it and this is like oh okay you just so turned off by that and so when you i come across films like this it just it stays with me y'all it really does because i'm just like i know that this exists i know that this is real but it can only happen with god's help it can only be happen with him orchestrating everything it ain't gonna happen outside of that we already know y'all can look around y'all see it all right 
oh my goodness i am so proud of myself because we we ain't even 15 minutes in and i'm so happy to be wrapping this up but yes okay let's get to this question all right the big question did rachel love her enemy i'm gonna say yes she did all right and who uh, i mean it's supposed to be hard loving y'all enemies right i mean we get that it's supposed to be hard it's supposed to be hard loving y'all enemies all right but when your enemy look like this is it really hard to love your enemy okay when your enemy as sweet and kind and all this stuff is stuff. okay i'm just saying i'm playing i'm playing i'm playing i'm playing right okay that's just fictional world okay <laughs> we know these enemies in real life they they ain't nothing like this these these folks here boy they on something totally different they they who they be having y'all on the verge of almost going to hell all right like seriously <laughs> how these people be doing you oh wipe the flow with you and everything so no, they ain't nothing like Daniel. But yes, it's still that. Nevertheless, it was still difficult for Rachel to love her enemy, and she really did. Like, let's just lay out these little few things. She did what the word of God say. She fed her enemy. She gave him a drink. She gave him a place to stay for free. She protected him. Okay, when these people was coming to her door, when she could have easily gave him up, she could have gave him up to her um her brother-in-law he he was you know ready to take daniel down okay and she protected him she didn't even know why in a sense that she felt like she should but it just it was just natural it just came natural that she felt like this man even though he escaped he doesn't deserve death okay at the end of the day he does not deserve that and she did her job y'all and god rewarded her okay now i ain't saying this don't y'all be taking this okay because some of y'all like the we know how y'all do all right don't be taking this as just because you love your enemy that god gonna give you your, gonna give you a man all right gonna give you a husband and all that so i ain't saying that i'm not saying that all right okay that's what happened to rachel that that was her reward i don't know what god got for y'all okay for love y'all enemies i don't know what he gonna do all right i just want to say that i just want to say that <laughs> But yes, like I said, did Rachel love her enemy? Yes, she did. Okay, I'm going down and hit the holy to it. She did love her enemy. Okay, and we had fun, right? We had fun talking about them too. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get it in our scripture, which will be coming out of Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. And it reads, But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully abuse you and persecute you. Y'all, I, I ain't saying it's easy, but we gotta do what we gotta do for the Lord, all right? So until next time, may the Lord bless and keep you both now and forevermore.